Kang took the high ground. And keeping the three sons to his back, he forced the enemy to fight him against the blinding light. Maintain right alert. <clears throat> to attack my ship. My ship is disabled. I claim yours. You are now prisoners of the Klingon Empire against which you have committed a wanton act of war. We took no action against your ship, Kang. Were the screams of my crew imaginary? What were your orders, Kirk? To start a war, you've succeeded. I don't propose to spend the rest of my life on this ball of dust arguing your fantasies. The Enterprise is mine. Go to the devil. We have no devil, Kirk. But we understand the habits of yours. I will kill 100 hostages at the first sign of treachery. I'll beam you aboard the Enterprise. Once there, no tricks. Klingon would never have surrendered. Order everybody in Azaria to be transported up. All weapons on him. My wife, Mara, and my science officer. King, what has happened? Or Federation treachery. We are prisoners. When I take this ship, I'll have Kirk's head stuffed and hung on his cabin wall. And free those trapped crewmen. And before I put you in the brig, there's a little something I owe you. Stars of victory. Power. She has five seconds to live. She is a victim of war, Captain. She understands. You called my bluff. fights in a burning house. Out! <laughs> 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 We're being hailed, Captain. On screen. Mr. Sulu, I see they have finally given you the captaincy you deserve. Thank you, Kat. Do not let it end prematurely. As soon as we've completed repairs, we'll be on our way. We'd be happy to escort you back to Federation space. Very generous of you, but we can manage. I insist. Nice to see you again, Kang. Possibly mean that he's... Yes. That is exactly what it means. I have found the albino. I met one of the albino's discarded wives. I fed and clothed her. I told her the story of our sons. An amulet she wore around her neck was delivered to me by messenger. In it was a location of the albino sanctuary. I will cut his heart out and eat it while he watches me with his dying breath. Tell me about my good friend Curzon. Did he die an honorable death? He died in a hospital room. Oh, it's a pity. He was a good man. He deserved to die in battle. It pains me that I will never see him again in this life. There was a time when I was a young man. The mere mention of a Klingon empire made worlds tremble. Things are not what they used to be. Not even the blood oath. 
I know you, Kang. You don't believe that. What I believe is no longer relevant. Releasing you from Curzon's oath is not enough. I can see that now. It is agreed, then. No! I tell you now, you will not be part of the quest. You can't deny my right for vengeance. You try to speak like a Klingon, but the words do not fit in your mouth. Nobody had ever had the Kajung pocket to show their back to the great king before Curzon did. I almost killed Curzon that day. Getting you angry with me was the only way to begin to create a bond between us. Curzon understood Klingons. No Klingon warrior would leave a comrade behind while he goes off to battle. Are you trying to anger me again? You think the same trick would work twice? I understand Klingons. All right, then. It worked. Come and fight with us. Come and be damned. I say we make a direct attack boldly through the threshold. The guards will be too scattered to defend against us. We will overwhelm them to glorious victory. So, we talk about dying again. A Klingon warrior is always prepared to die. If we cannot reach the albino, we can at least die an honorable death trying to reach him. A death a Klingon to our master deserves. But who among them could match our skills with a Bethleth? Not many. Perhaps it is a good day to live. Michaelis, guide us on this day of vengeance. Look upon your executioners, killer of children! Get them! Far quicker than your son did, Kang. Last time, I was right, Dax. It is a good day to die. It's never a good day to lose a friend. The fall of Kang is required reading at the Academy. Uh, <clears throat> so honor the valiant who die neath your sword. But pity the warrior who slays all his foes. Well, yes. <laughs> 